So, okay, so what I understand is now you, you have taken over your neighbor's sim here, and you're playing. Yeah. What have you learned about, because you didn't create this sim, yeah. but what have you learned about that sim's characteristics? My sim, his sim is really weird, because he has a lot of friends, and he just likes to break into people's houses. So, so he's a burglar? Yeah. <laughs> is that his career? Uh, no, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But I'm, gonna, I'm trying, to get, I'm trying so to get him a job. I'm trying to get him a job. So, you're trying to... You're taking his character that he created, who is somewhat of a, of a criminal, yeah. and, and you're trying to reshape it so that he actually is a respectable, upstanding citizen. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right. Um, when you're playing this game, and um, you've been talking about the parts of uh, character de you know, development and, and about your um, character's personalities and things like that, do you think that's similar to the way it is in books? Yeah. How, how is it similar? Because, like, it, with the, the care authors, they have to come up with their characters, and they've got to be, know everything about them before they can actually make a book. And mm -hmm. in this, you pretty much got to do the same thing. Okay. You've got to know everything about your character. You've got to make them know how they are. And mm -hmm. So understanding the character's traits um, yeah. helps you understand why they do the things they do? Yeah. Ah, that's cool. All right. I think that applies to real life as well? Yeah, it can. Like, like if you know if you know how somebody kind of how they roll, then you know like that's yeah. that's why they're acting the way they are. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's a good one. All right, cool. Thanks, man.